Hello and welcome to another topic lesson. Now, today's lesson is a little bit different because we are going to be starting our new topic. And the new topic for this term is Ancient Greece. But before we can look at Ancient Greece, we need to learn about modern day Greece. So by that, I mean, we need to learn about the country Greece and what it's like today. So before we can go back in time and learn about Ancient Greece, we need to learn about modern day Greece. So let's start by working through a PowerPoint together. Pause the video here, get a pencil and some paper or something to write down on. Press play when you're ready to continue. So let's work through the PowerPoint together, Greece. Greece is a country in Europe. It shares its borders with Albania, Turkey, Macedonia and Bulgaria. So the country's name is Greece. The capital city is Athens. The currency, so the money that you spend in Greece, is euros. The population is around 11 million. So 11 million people live in Greece. The language that is spoken is mainly Greek. And the average rainfall, so the amount of rain that they get, in the north of Greece, it's between 50 and 121 centimetres a year. And in the south of Greece, it's around 38 to 81 centimetres. This is the flag of Greece, as you can see. We've got blue and white stripes. And then we've also got a cross up in this top corner. Now, Greece is in southern Europe. It has a warmer climate than the UK. So by that, it means that it's also in, in Europe, UK is in Europe too, but Greece is in the south of Europe and that means that it has warmer weather. So Greece is down there, as you can see, and the UK is up here. So you can see that Greece is in the south of Europe and we are in Europe, but we're up here. Click to change between summer and winter temperatures. Let's take a look. Oh. So the summer temperature is between 20 and 40 degrees Celsius. The winter temperature, what do you think will happen when I click the winter temperature? Will it rise? Will it get hotter? Or will it fall? Will it get colder? What do you think will happen? Let's see. So the temperature just falls slightly and it falls to between zero and 20 degrees Celsius. So still quite warm, even though it's in winter, but it's not as hot as what it is in the summer. So the coastline, a little bit of a fact here. So Greece has 8,479 miles of coastline. In fact, no point is more than 85 kilometers from the coast. So by that, it means that Greece has got 8,479 8, miles of coastline. So places that are along the coastline, they have a beach and they're near the sea. Can you either use an atlas to find the location of these three seas, or can you research and look online? Pause the video here and press play when you're ready to see the answers. OK, let's take a look at the answers. So here are the three places of these three C's. Were you correct? Give yourself a tick for each one that you got right. So Greek islands. There are over 2,000 islands that make up the Greek nation. Around 170 of these islands are populated. So populated means people live there. So around 170 of these 2,000 islands have people living there. That's not a lot when you look at that. If you counted every rocky outcrop, however, 
the number of islands would total more than 3,000. So if you counted all of the little rocky islands as well, you'd get 3,000 islands. Islands in Greece account for around 20% of the country's land area. So actually these little islands take up a lot of space in Greece. Crete is the largest of the Greek islands. Can you locate it? So, have a look at the picture. Can you guess which of the Greek islands is Crete? It's the largest one. Maybe have a look in an atlas if you've got an atlas at home. Maybe have a look on Google, see if you can guess. Pause the video when you're doing this and then press play when you're ready to look at the answer. OK, let's take a look. So Crete is this island down here. Did you get it correct? Give yourself a little tick if you did. Now, a little question for you. Have you been on holiday to Greece and did you stay on one of the islands? Have a little think. You might want to pause the video, go and talk to a grown up in your house. Um, you might want to just have a little think to yourself. I've been to Greece and I've stayed in an island called Rhodes and that's just an island, a little island in Greece. It was very, very hot. Maybe you've stayed there too. Or maybe you've stayed in Crete, the biggest island on Greece. Greece is one of the most mountainous countries in Europe. In fact, there are no navigable rivers because it's so mountainous. So in Greece, there's lots of mountains and mountainous areas. In Greek mythology, Mount Olympus is said to be the seat of the gods. Mount Olympus is the highest mountain in Greece. It measures 9,754 feet high. According to Greek legend, when God created the world, he sifted the earth through a strainer. After giving each country good soil, he threw the stones that were left over his shoulder and created Greece. Now, we will be looking at Greek legends and myths um, in a later lesson. So I'm not going to tell you any more information about that. But that's what we will be looking at in a few weeks time. Greece has a warm, sunny climate and enjoys more than 250 days of sunshine a year. Ah, a little challenge for you there. If Greece has 250 days of sunshine, how many days does that mean it doesn't have sunshine? Think about how many days are in a year. 250 days in that year have sunshine. So how many don't get sunshine? It has typically Mediterranean climate with hot, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. Most people consider Greece to be a summer holiday destination, although there are also popular ski resorts in the mountainous regions to the north of Athens. So it's quite a popular place to visit. Now, what I'd like you to do now is answer this question for me. So what is appealing about this image? So this image here. Now, appealing means what is nice about this picture? What is what? Is it that when you look at this picture, it makes you feel happy? It makes you feel like you want to go and visit? Pause the video, write down your answer, press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, another question to just think about. You don't have to write an answer for this one, just have a think. Why do you think people might choose to go on holiday to Greece? Maybe that's something you could have a chat with a grown up about or, um, a brother or sister in your house or just have a think to yourself about that one now a little bit more information in the summer the average temperature in greece is 33 degrees so that is very very hot in winter the average temperature is 10 degrees so what is the difference between the two temperatures see if you can work that out so a bit of information about 
the capital city of Greece. Athens is the birthplace of democracy. And democracy just means a system of electing a government. So when we have a vote to choose who will lead our country, that's what democracy is. And it's one of the oldest European cities. People have lived in Athens for more than 7,000 years. Around 40% of the Greek population live here. So this picture down here is Athens. Now, we will be learning about ancient Greece. And as you can see, Athens has got some ancient Greek buildings in it. But then it's also got some modern day Greek buildings in there as well. And that's something that we will be looking at in a few weeks time. Greek traditions. So our country, as do lots of countries, have their own traditions. And here are just some of the Greek traditions. And there's lots of these, but there's just three on this slide. So let's take a look. So we've got, firstly, Greek dancing. Traditional Greek dancers are about expressing emotions and telling stories. The Calamantiano is a celebratory dance performed by men and women dancing in a circle. Greek homes. Many Greek houses are painted white to reflect the sun. Blue and white, also the colours of the Greek flag, are painted on the houses to symbolise the Greek flag, but to also symbolise the Greek sea and the sky. The Greek Orthodox Church. Religion is an important part of Greek culture. Around 98% of the population are Christian Orthodox, so that is a religion that they follow. Ooh, let's have a look at this. Click to watch a clip of traditional Greek dancing. Let's take a little look. Now, as you're watching, think about how we dance now. Is it similar? Is it different? And why?